Well, the Sunshine Street continues across the region. It was another really sunny and beautiful fall day. We do have a couple of clouds filling in now into the afternoon hours, but we're still seeing that really pretty blue sky. Temperatures for Perryville right now in the lower 70s, so one of our chillier spots, but we still have that wind coming out of the south right now at about 8 miles per hour. So definitely one of our chillier areas as the rest of us are somewhere in those mid to upper 70s. We have Cape Girardeau at 75 along with Marion. 77 for Sykeston and Paducah and Murray, so a pretty nice evening. Uh, we're staying fairly mild overnight tonight as well, only dipping down into those 50s. Those clouds are going to be sticking around overnight as well, so keeping an eye on that, but the winds should be calming off um, tonight. But tonight, mild conditions are expected with a couple of those passing clouds. Tomorrow, we're still sticking with those 80s with more of us kind of hitting that mark. And then Friday, the roller coaster continues as we see unseasonably chilly weather. So right now we're being dominated by this high pressure for the most part, other than a couple of clouds that is keeping us fairly clear. What we're keeping an eye on, though, is this cold front that is off to our west. It'll be making its way into our region, and that's what's going to be dropping our temperatures later on. But overall, radar and satellite does not look too bad across the region if you do have any evening plans. Temperatures somewhere in those mid to upper 70s, 73 for Mount Vernon and Harris, Harris excuse me right now by nine o'clock we're dipping down into those 60s we continue to see that breeze coming out of the south 59 though for Mount Vernon so a little on the chilly side we're also seeing possibly a couple of isolated showers overnight tonight just north of I-64 so definitely not a widespread event also not going to be a heavy event at all but don't let that catch you off guard tomorrow morning it's a little on the chilly side you might want a light jacket into those 50s warming up into the 60s by nine o'clock and by lunchtime some of us will already be up into those 80s Highs tomorrow in the low 80s for a lot of us, so definitely a very warm day expected, especially for this time of year. But enjoy the warm weather now because we are actually going to trend cooler later into the week. That low pressure is going to continue across the east. It's going to be funneling in some of this cooler air in the trough, so we're actually tracking possibly some 60s for our highs on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Again with the Storm Track 3 app because not only will we be dipping into the 60s, but our lows will be in the 30s. So we're watching the chance of possibly our first frost and freeze of the season. So it's going to be a little chilly Saturday and Sunday morning. Keep that in mind if you do have any sensitive plants or anything you need to bring inside. But overall, should be a really nice day tomorrow. We still have the sunshine sticking around, temperatures in those low 80s, and then the coaster effect really starts to happen. We dip down into the 60s for a couple of days, and then by the start of next week, we're back up into the 70s. Okay, okay, I can get back to the 70s. I'm, I'm okay with that. You can make it a Monday. Yeah, I can go. <laughs> All right, thank you, Katie. Thanks.